Okay, what the f- <laughs> Oh, what the heck am I looking at? <laughs> Yo guys, what's going on? Awesome 303 here, and welcome to the Tick Pan Dokkan Fest, and welcome to what is probably the stupidest amount of things I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. So Dokkan Fest Pan has come through, and it has probably the most abundance of super attacks I think I've ever seen. It's ridiculous, to be quite frank. And I'm I'm wondering how long it's going to take to translate all of this, because it is madness. Uh, they are tech type, which is what I expected, considering we didn't have a good tech pan yet. I'm honestly not sure what to expect. Uh, there's also a new Trunks and Gear. Uh, these two here, these are a bit the banner unit, which is, I think, honestly, I think we expected that. So that's cool. Uh, but uh, we have it all here. So let's see what in the world this is. All right, let's go. So Trunks and Gear here. I'm actually going to turn this down a little bit. Not bad. That, that's a nice little ending shot. She is doing that little... She is doing that attack she did against Baby. Nice. She's gonna have a bunch of, of um, different unit supers. So there's one with Giro. He's gonna be with trunks as well. So yeah, she has she has a bunch of different unit super attacks. Okay, that's fair. That's cool. I like the idea. And one with Goku. Not super flashy, but cool. I like it. Wow! Yep, she does the Kamehameha. Oh! Super Saiyan 4 Goku! From out of nowhere! Very nice, very nice. <laughs> That's cool, actually. I did kind of, I did kind of think she was gonna do the Kamehameha, but I didn't think Goku was actually gonna come in and transform into Super Saiyan Four. That's that. That's awesome. Let's go. Woo! All right. I'm um, severely hyped. Severely hyped. Uh, yeah, I like that. Um. So yeah, there's a total of how many? Four different supers. <sighs> what? I, I don't even know. Uh, plus an active skill. Uh, let's let's just take a quick thought of this. So GT Hero is going to be the 200% lead. We can see that already. I have a feeling one of those is Dragon Ball Seekers. As for the other one, I have no idea. Uh, they have certain, so key mechanics, attack and defense. It's going to be, so that, that last little condition is going to be GT hero with Goku. I would assume. So stacks attack on that one. So she's stacking attack there. Stacks attack there. Stacks attack there. And stacks attack there. So she's stacking attack on all her supers. Fair enough. I would say 
I mean, uh, we'd have to see, to be sure. We'd have to see. Um, she isn't going to be like, like other pan units. She isn't gonna, she probably doesn't have like, I don't know, does she have support? Hmm, I have no idea, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like she has support in any of her super attacks, and it doesn't look like she has any in her passive either. I don't think, at least, looking at that, but... Uh... Not too, sh not too sure, but... Honestly, I, I really like... I mean, the animations themselves, I mean, obviously, it's... It's not the flashiest we've ever seen, you know, uh, but... You know what? It could be a lot worse. I think the active skill at the end is awesome. I really like that she does this attack from Baby. Like, she ne she needed to have that somewhere. And honestly, that, like, the ending little thing there's cool. All the shots are very good, at least, I think. I actually really like this active skill OST right here. That's really, that's such a good active skill. My god, that's awesome. Woo! Okay. Well, uh, I have no idea what to expect, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, Garish, good luck. I'll be seeing you in a, a wee bit of time. But, uh, for now, I'm liking it, yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys for translations in sometime soon. Alright. Peace till later. All right, and we're back once again. Garish has hit us up with the goods, and we are now here to see what this new Trunks and Giru can do, and also the new Pan can do. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, anyway, so we're going to start with Trunks and Giru. Uh, Bond of Friendship, three key, and 130% of the stats. That's fair. Uh, greatly raises attack for one turn. Supreme damage lowers defense. Uh, they're passive, they change AG on tick, key spheres to int, and they get 120% attack and defense. Bond of Friendship, GT Heroes, and Dragable Seekers category allies, one key 20% attacks. Attack. That right there is sort of similar to the, like, Vados Margarita, I think. I think is that what it is? So, something like that. You You know, where they get, like... They get, like, stats for all three. I'm not going to say that's actually what's going to happen, but hey, that's very good if that is the case. And doing for all three categories. I feel like, is that all three categories that Pan leads? It is, yeah. So that'd be pretty good to run on that category because that's very, very interesting if that's the case. 120% uh, attacking defense when collecting three or more key spheres. That's very good. And another 120% attack and defense, and all enemies 20% minus 20% attack when collecting five. All allies two key attack and defense and crit chance 10% when seven. So he's basically maybe a mix of Int Vados and in a way, Weirus. Because he's changing the key spheres, he's getting all these sorts of additive buffs when he's getting key spheres, and he's also going to be supporting a similar way to what Vados, the Int Vados, was able to do. That's pretty good. I mean, looking at all of this, that looks very nice. Uh, oh, these look sp ugh. speedy retribution, brainiacs, cold judgment, solid support, GT courage, fierce battle. To be fair, with the kit like that, the the links did cut and let it down a little bit, but they have fair spell. They have GT, 
they have cold judgment. It's not terrible. Uh, Bond of Friendship, Dragon Ball Seekers, Join Forces, Space Traveling Warriors, and GT Heroes. All in all, not a bad, uh, not a, a very, like a very good unit if they're able to get everything at, off of this. Like three separate stacks of 120% attack and defense. They could be a very, very strong, um, blah, blah, blah. They could be a very strong banner unit. I'm I'm looking forward to that to that one and what they do. Um, so let's go to Pan now. And again, yeah, this is ridiculous. Uh, Bond of Friendship, Dragon Ball Seekers, three key one seventy. Dragon Ball Seekers needed a new lead, so I'm good with that. Uh, Bond of Friendship. It's all right. I mean, there's a lot of good units on Bond of Friendship that you can run that also can be in GT Heroes as well. So I'm lo I'm fine with that. Um, all of our super attacks will raise attack, as we saw. Um, they all have stun chance. So this one raises attack, medium chance to stun on our main on our normal super attack. Uh, unit super attack one. So this is what, with Trunk, she greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun. With Giru, it's greatly raises attack with a high chance to stun as well. And then with Goku, it's greatly raises attack, immense damage with a great chance to stun. Uh, stunning chance can vary. This will definitely be good for Super Battle Road, like no doubt about it. Uh, she gets 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. 50% attack and defense when attacking, 2 key, 50% attack, and 50% damage reduction until launching an attack will in the first slot. So she's going to be mainly a slot 1 unit, which considering that she might not be like, well, oh, to be fair, her links are all right. So like as a first rotation, first slot unit, she actually could be very good. 50% uh, damage reduction is going to be really good as well as that 50% attack. Uh, attack and defense 20% per attack performed under 100%. That'll definitely help. Uh, additional attack with a high chance to be a super. If there's a GT here's category ally attacking in the same turn, who's Goku, Trunks, or Gear. So, um, she's only going to have two links with that support Trunks and Gear. Because they only have GT and Fierce Battle, which, to be fair, two really good links. But, uh... Hmm. Not to, it's not going to be crazy. Like, if she has Goku on rotation, which most likely... I mean, most likely you're going to be seeing Trunks in and around here. Goku's definitely going to be around because of the Bond of Friendship team. Because Goku's on all of those. And yeah, with, he's going to get the 200% lead for, from Pan, so that's fine. But yeah, like I would rather say Pan's going to be not as used as a... Pan's not going to be really used as a... as a leader, I don't think. I mean, her teams are bad, and she could definitely be useful, but I'm not sure. It's a very interesting mix, is what this is. I really am sad that this isn't like something like maybe Youth or Hybrid Sands, but I can't, I can't be too upset at it, or or Kamehameha either. Kamehameha definitely needed a new leader. Um, so Trump card Kamehameha, five or more attacks have been launched. GT Heroes category ally whose game includes Goku. So you want to realistically have a Goku from GT on your team. So say, for example, maybe like LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the AGL one. That'll definitely be a good addition. Uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4s aren't going to be really necessary. LR Super Saiyan 4s aren't going to be on that sort of stigma because that's just no. Because they, I don't think they're on... Bond of Friendship or Dragon Ball Seekers, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, so that they wouldn't work here. 
I mean, unless you unless you ran under their leader skill in that case, yes, they would. At least pan can be used under that 200% lead, so that's fine as well. Mm. Uh, greater risk attack temporarily, ultimate damage, 59% chance to perform a crit. Ooh, that's not bad. So, my honest opinion, additional is probably the way you want to go. And maybe, I, I think addi additionals or dodge, because crit, crit's not going to really matter here. Hmm. Yeah, it's tough to say, but I think additionals or dodge is the way to go, because crit doesn't really seem like too big a deal here. She's always going to be heading two supers, so maybe this is a unit for full dodge. It's it's possible because you know having additional dodge would be helpful, but nah, negligible to say the least. Uh she has Kamehameha, the Innocents, all in the family, same lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT Fierce Battle. Uh and all those categories are pretty good. Hmm. But yeah, she's really gonna be mainly used as with, with GT units, so you could definitely run her on the LR Super Saiyan 4 leads. She does get the 200% because she's on GT Heroes and she'll be on Kamehameha. And that will give her 200% there. That's that's very good. I did also do some calculations with this uh, before recording. Uh, she looks like if you, if you max out, out everything... And you're on a 200% lead, and it's 100, and she is 100% of the dupe system. Uh, she's probably at about close to 500k defense. Uh, this also is with like 40% support. Like with the trunks, it's 60%. So that'll definitely be like over 500k defense for sure. With 50% damage reduction before supering, that's very good. Like, I, I mean, she's definitely going to be a very good, like, prior to super, like, she's going to be one of the better defensive units in the game for TOR standards. Post super, not so much, but you know what, 500k defense, even without damage reduction, that's very good. And that can definitely do, do some things, especially with the fact that she can hit ludicrous numbers because she sex attack and it's adding on every single time over it. Like, her numbers are definitely going to be very good after, like, a good amount of supers. Like, she is going... She might not be, like... She's going to be defensively good and offensively good. So, it's different to Videl. Like, Videl herself, like, full, fell off over time. But this, this pan, I don't think so. She's looking a lot better than Videl was. I mean, obviously. But yeah, I am um, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. She's on a very good amount of good teams. She'll be viable in most of them. Yeah, all there is to it, really. She's very good. Um so yeah, that's that's what this new trunks and pan is looking like. I think they're both going to look really good. They're both going to look really good. And uh I do think it's going to be like I don't think pan's going to be like best suited in the game material, but she'll definitely be upper. She'll be like up there in like at least around maybe the top 10 for a wee while. Given everything so yeah, I, I I like this pan a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be very happy with this. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what else I could say, but there's not really much. So I'm just gonna end the video here. So uh, if you guys if you guys are hyped for Tick Pan, leave a like and. Uh, Hopefully I'll see you guys for some more videos. Fortune Street is still coming around, so be on the lookout. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.